In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up an atlas that will hold all your textures that will be used in your bone animations. Uh, the atlas saves draw calls by combining all your textures into one draw call. You can have multiple atlases for a bone animation but the less you have the better your uh, rendering and optimization will be. So let's go ahead and create a new folder here just so we have something to work in. And inside this folder I'm going to create another folder for atlases. And let's create a new atlas. Go to Create, Smooth Moves, Texture, Atlas, Data. And that just creates a new atlas file. Now I want to rename this first because whatever this file name is, it's going to generate other files with the same name. So let's make it something more descriptive. Let's call this Chef. You can see in the inspector over here that there's a little bit of information about it. There's no textures. So we'll go ahead and click the Open Atlas Editor. And we just get this empty atlas for now. Now what we want to do is add some textures to this. So I'm going to go to the Rise of the Doe mini game and look at my Atlas base textures for these animator or these textures. And I'll just cl right click, sorry, click shift and then release, click them all, and then drag and drop these over here. So now you can see all the textures are now in our Atlas. So what we want to do first off is set up the pivot points for our Atlas textures. Now the pivot point is where your texture will rotate and scale around. So let's say for the arm, you probably want the pivot point around the shoulder joint. So about right there is probably pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that for all our textures. That's probably pretty good for that. Eyebrows, hands, let's put the hat somewhere down at the bottom, head somewhere around the neck area, back of the handkerchief, front of the handkerchief, legs around the pelvis and in the waist somewhere near the top. Okay so now we've set our our pivots. You can see there's some ways you can uh, set preset pivot points like if we want the bottom left it'll, it'll snap there, upper right, center, and but we just wanted to drag to the specific ones. You can show you can center it if you move it around. Now you can move around with the middle mouse button if you click and hold. Uh, but if you get off a little bit and you want to come back, you can click the center button. If you zoom with the middle mouse button, you can also get back to your zoom one. Let's say we unzoomed it really far. We can zoom back. You can also zoom this way. And we can toggle the background contrast in case you have a, a lighter dark texture that doesn't show up very well. And you can put a grid on and you can take off the boundaries as well. You can also set the pivot manually with these amounts, but I just find it easier to drag. Okay, now that we have that set, go up to our Atlas settings and you have a padding here. The padding is how many pixels are between each of these textures when it generates the Atlas. And then you have your max size. Uh, the max size, if you have it set too low, it'll chop your textures off. That's a Unity function. That's not something Smooth Moves does. So it's best to have a really big size. You can always lower that in the texture or in the inspector later. Now if you force square, that's good for iPhone devices that require a square texture for compression, but we're not going to be compressing this, so I don't need to force that. So let's click the Rebuild Atlas button. You can see that it's yellow back here. That means something needs to be uh, rebuilt because something changed. And it's also yellow here. So let's click that. So that created a new atlas, we can close this now, a new texture and a new material. Now the material defaults to particles alpha blended. I find that one's really good for 2D. You can change that to anything you want, anything that Unity has or anything you write, but I just leave that there for now. Now the texture comes in automatically with compressed and you can see it's set to your max texture, texture size that you set. I want to change this to advanced and I want to take off the mit maps. I don't like the mit maps because they cause some blurring. For 2D, that's not so good. Um, it defaults to a clamp wrap mode and a bilinear filtering. That's fine. Uh, if we wanted point, that might be pretty good for 2D as well, like for GUI. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on bilinear. And the compression, I'm going to take this down to RGBA 16 bit. That way it won't be compressed, it'll be nice and crisp. On some mobile devices, you might want to compress it though. So that is how you build an atlas. And if you make any changes to your atlas, when you open it, make some changes, just be sure to rebuild 
for those changes to show up here. And you can see the atlas is just a texture with a bunch of textures in it. So that's the tutorial on building an atlas.